Let's go straight. The advantage of walking tours on uh, rainy Sunday mornings, you get to stand in the middle of the street. <laughs> um, just looking down railway, what you have is a vista of the street uh, really as it developed in the early 1900s. The Canadian Pacific Railway had set aside the north side of railway as their warehouse district. They knew that Gastown, as it was developing on the north side of Water Street, the capacity there would disappear very quickly. There was a meeting of the head officials of the CPR in Vancouver. Uh, Sir Thomas Shaughnessy showed up and the various managers of the different regions were here. And uh, the fellow that was the property manager for the CPR here in Vancouver proposed this idea of creating a new warehouse district where the lots were going to be 50 feet in width and uh, solely for warehouse purposes. And so that's what ended up happening. But this didn't develop until like 1911, 1912. And so it's very late in the game. Uh, now part of it was that Gaston actually had a lot of capacity that they didn't uh, understand. And also, uh, when they opened up Yale Town and actually purpose built that neighborhood starting about 1909, 1910, it was so efficient because the trains ran down the middle of the street in Yale Town that this area was much more awkward to actually manage. And so it took a very long time for the warehouses to be built. And the city's permission to Great Northern to actually establish a train station down here kind of also made it a little bit awkward as well. Um, that thing disappeared when they finally built the train station in Chinatown at the site of the Chinese Garden, which is there today in the Chinese Cultural Center. So Pender and Carroll was the Great Northern train station from 1906 until about 1925. And so uh, this area though, never really developed, it took a long time, except for the little building that has the uh, competing mural on the side of it. That's actually an ancient little building, gone through layers and layers of renovations. But it belonged to the Nicoles, who were brothers who were here in Vancouver in the 1880s, as in 1886, 7, 8, and 9. And they established an ice and oil warehouse on that site, uh, way far away from the city. They got an oil warehouse, you know, they tend to catch fire and stuff like that. We don't want to close the town, so it was out here. And then this became uh, also a place for ice. And so there were actually a number of ice manufacturing plants along here and hence Rail Sun Studios, which is in the old Vancouver Coast storage building. And so then you had this industry and then you had some warehousing and some offices. So this area up to here was actually much later to develop. There were actually warehouses from the 1920s to 1930s. Well, the reason that was in the